strange experience watching the first episode because it's immediately the same rhythm and the same feel. It is the same show. And that's something that I, I guess after a period of time you wonder, will you be able to come back together and really have it feel like the same thing? Yeah. Did it feel like that to you guys as well? <laughs> Let's just feel it right now. Yeah, I, you know, it, to me, as soon as the music goes over it, yeah. it feels exactly like the show. And obviously all the other elements. Yeah. Not just the, you couldn't just okay. put the music no, over the like, stock not... footage of a flower. <laughs> I'm going to go with <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is how they were going to open it. Um, yeah, I think that the editing style, too, it's like, obviously the writing is what is, you know, the show, but I think Mitch's editing style is so unique and kind of tells the story with the writing so well. So even when we were shooting it, you don't really know what it is until once it was like all cut together in the way it was, it just like really comes to life. And um, because they've only shown us one, I, I'm only basing this on the comments we've heard, but it sounds like this, the way these episodes work is they interlock in, in a very unusual way. And yeah. from this episode, you get a hint that there's feet that come down the stairs at one point, you don't see who that is, and there's things like, yeah. so you get the feeling there's gonna be payoffs throughout the season in, in yeah. other episodes. Does it, does it feel like a different uh, thing than, than the old show where it was much more linear, you knew that the episodes would be seen in a certain order? Yeah. It is really different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, watching the episodes, we just had the premiere the other night, and we saw two episodes, and watching those, I was so overwhelmed by just the rate of jokes and also all these things that I saw being set up, all these different things yeah. that are paid off later on. And sometimes you would just see the B-side of a joke that hadn't even been set up yet, that's mm -hmm. set up later on. So yeah. it's, it's very different structure from the old series, I think. But I get a feeling there's just a different way that people digest TV now. When, when you guys were on the air the first time, this time shifting hadn't happened yet, and people weren't doing the sort of marathon viewing that they're doing now with Netflix and things. It's a new disease now. It yeah. is. It, it yeah. feels like people, are, an people have changed <laughs> the way they, they digest this. So in some ways, you guys are one of the first shows I've seen respond to that with the way the show itself is made. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you described it to us, but it still wasn't like made clear until just now, until you said that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the way we were it's shooting it was not like, oh right, this is how we're gonna do this thing. It was like, well, let's just try this and see what happens. Like it was still very fly by the seat of your pants, which is like the show yeah. was, but as you said, because we had a week to be like, we're doing this story, these storylines, we just had that to process. But we were like processing 15 scripts at once, every scene you're doing. It's like a giant much. movie. Yeah. Huge, and you don't, and like right. some stuff wasn't even written yet. So that you're like shooting stuff, and you're like, but we don't know what I just came from. Okay, that's fine. We don't need to know, and we just kind of go into it blind. To some degree, it feels very strange to actually be sitting here talking about Arrested Development again, because for so long I felt like when the question would come up in a junket, it was, I, okay, I have to ask because I'm going to get yelled at if I don't. Any news yet? And yeah. that's been going on for so long that and people it, still ask it. <laughs> people still say, "So what's up with the movie?" <laughs> I'm like, "Buddy, you missed the press <laughs> junket. It's on Saturday." <laughs> so yeah, so now that's the next thing that people can start asking about incessantly. Yeah. Um, but but was there ever a point where you felt like it wasn't going to happen, or at what point did the question stop, or did you guys hope that it was it was always a, a possibility? It had been in discussion since the show wrapped, basically. Yeah. And. <laughs> I was skeptical right up until we were actually shooting it just because there had been so many conversations and then a year would go by and then another year would go by. And yeah, a lot of like false starts. A yeah. lot of false starts. So I just, I never really knew how real it was. It felt to me like the only time I heard about it was when people asked about it mm -hmm. for a long time. And then yeah. it finally became a reality. I'm still questioning whether it'll fully. <laughs> Will it actually air? Yeah. <laughs> is this all some elaborate ruse? Um, so, Michael, you ended up in the writer's room this time, is that true? Yeah. And uh, was that something that you asked to be part of? Was it something they so. asked you to do? <laughs> I think I. You received a handwritten letter, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and it said check yes, check no, check maybe. The golden ticket on it. <laughs> golden stamp. Yeah. Um, I think I probably asked, you know, through some subterfuge, I kind of weaseled my way in. Or implied to Mitch that I would love to even just go in for a day. And then Mitch was just so generous with the offer and he just kept extending the offer and, and until he asked me to be on the staff. And any day you were shooting as like an actor, um, actor, they like <laughs> missed you in the room. They would always be like, we need you back in there. Well, they Michael were only... won't say it, but they like loved him in the room. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. They loved him. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> It was a small group this year. It was really 
like normally five guys in there or sometimes four, or some days eight, you know, but normally it was a really small group and Mitch would be on set the whole time directing. So, and everyone was trying to f kind of figure out the story just by basically picking up these clues that they got from Mitch or he would call with an assignment or it was just a lot to kind of keep in mind. So when he wasn't in the room, it was up to Dean Laurie to keep things moving forward and I, he was amazing. I don't know how he did that. Seeing you guys constantly since in other films and in other television projects and things, it does not feel to me like there's been a, a massive change. But then the first time they show a flashback clip in the episode, you're like, oh my God, that really was a while ago. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, his freaking face. Looks yeah, for, <laughs> I mean, it's, there is Different. a, uh, there it is, is a dramatic it's difference there. strange, <laughs> yes. Um, well, Jason, that hair. But yeah, coming back like, to what hair was he doing? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was the 2000s, no one knew what was up. <laughs> but was the Everyone chemistry was still the same <laughs> with, with you guys, with the cast? Was it easy to step back into in terms of those relationships? Yeah, I think, oh. I think personally, at least like the dynamics, just like as people, like an actors being on set was kind of the same again. Like, I remember coming back and still feeling like, kind of like an insecure, like teenager who was like, I'm just like the young one on set. But it kind of like, I don't know, like when we had the first, we had like our first group family scene, which is one of the only ones where it's like all of us in the penthouse together and everyone having their like chimes in and like the beats and like how everyone relates to each other. It was kind of like a way to be like, oh right, this is how we relate to each character again, and like this is, this is what it was like because we used to have those so, so many of those almost like in every episode right. we'd have those big group scenes and it's like, and then George and Michael and maybe have their weird little plot they're planning in the corner and then like this happens and, so that kind of like tied it back together for me, but I was still felt like I was blind throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, guys, that was, my, that was great. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a that was. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it is a real pleasure to see the show again, Thanks, and great to see you guys here. Great to see you. Yeah. Take care. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.